I just arrived in Tucson at my hotel at Doubletree by Hilton and it's right by the airport and um, it was like one of the better deals that I found in the Tucson area and I actually used my Hilton points to get this place and it was about 22,000 points. I also chose this hotel because it's a pet friendly hotel and Kuma is with me. Right Kuma? She seems to like this place. And the pet fee is $50 here, so not too bad. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna give you a tour of this room. It's actually pretty spacious. I was actually surprised at how big it was. It's a little bit dated, but I don't mind. Um, I do like all the room. Come on, would you like to give the tour or are you just gonna stay under there? All right, do whatever you want. First of all, I really like this uh, door that they have. It's not a typical, you know, hotel door. It's, um, we open it's outdoors and over there is a courtyard with a pool. I hear the kids playing in it. But yeah, I just like that it's, um, I don't know, kind of like a home patio door. So right when you walk in, there is a living room area and there's also a dining room uh, table there. I have all my stuff there. <laughs> I just had to bring all my stuff in at once. So um, here's the TV nice and big so yeah just like a really nice chill lounge area yeah that's good spot right there she was on that uh, little chair there earlier and I guess they have a desk chair here in case you want to work at this table over here is a wet bar with some coffee and some tea it's also an ice bucket some couple of glasses put some little bowls down there and here is a fridge. I went ahead and put all my stuff that I needed to in there. And I needed to keep cold. And they have a little freezer up there as well. I have my ice packs in there. <laughs> There's nothing in there, baby. <laughs> and here is a microwave. Oh, did you find a new hiding spot? <laughs> but this is like another section, and you can even shut the door if you need to. And here is the bedroom. So a nice king size bed. I'm always happy with a uh, Hilton bed, so looking forward to a good night's rest. All right. Um, oh my God, there's a roach. I just found a big cockroach that's dead, so it's fine, but that's disgusting. Kumo will protect me, right? You'll protect me from the cockroaches. So I called, uh, the reception desk and they asked if I wanted to switch rooms or have housekeeping remove it. And at first I was like, should I switch rooms? But then I got lazy because I already put all my stuff in the fridge and then I would have to like move everything again. So I was like, no, it's okay if you can just have housekeeping remove it. Okay, so while I wait for housekeeping, um, let's see, there's a nightstand here with some outlets there. And then in here is, they have extra pillows. Uh, an extra pillow and a blanket, some hangers, a big safe, iron board, and iron. Yeah, you good with everything in there? No cockroaches? Good. All right. The sink area is in the room, and there's a separate place for the bathroom. Just called guest services. I'm gonna switch rooms. Okay, yeah, so um, at first I was like, well, maybe I can be okay with the cockroach in here. But then like, I noticed that the toilet wasn't working well either, it wasn't flushing very well. That makes me nervous too, so I don't like, I don't like worrying about the toilet. Um, so anyway, I was like, well, that's just another thing. So that must mean, that's just like a sign that I need to get out of this room. So yeah, I'm gonna switch rooms now. I'm gonna go downstairs, get my new key, and then we'll switch. But before I go, I just wanted to show um, this outdoor area. This is kind of cute. There's like a little, Balcony. I mean, it's not big, but you know, it's a little balcony if you want to step outside for a little bit. The view isn't anything special, but just there. Okay, Kuma, I have to go get another key, all right? Be right back. Okay, so I've switched rooms. Now I am in room 370. I was in 374. Um, it was an easy switch, so I was like, you know what, I should just do it because one cockroach and then two, the toilet not flushing. Yeah. No, I had to switch. Um, 
So yeah, it's basically the same layout here. Um, it's just a little bit darker in here for some reason. I don't know why, not a big deal, I guess. As long as there's no cockroach. So <laughs> I'm glad I was doing the tour because if I wasn't, I would have never noticed that. So yeah, basically the same in this living room area. Over here, um, it's like in a corner layout. So just a tad different. Everything else is the same. And same thing here, you come into the room and it's the king size bed and no cockroach, yay! And then again, another balcony view. Oh uh, yeah. Here is the sink, the mirror, Crabtree and Evelyn uh, toiletries. You get body lotion, shampoo, and conditioner. And there's the hair dryer in there. That's the soap. And here is the bathroom. Yep, there's your toilet. And then right next to it is the bathtub and the shower. And another soap. Just need to make sure this toilet flushes better. <laughs> I don't know. The toilet flushing so slowly like that worries me a little bit, but it's, you know, it was the same in the other room. So I guess just, that's just how it is here. So uh, it is what it is. At least there's no cockroach. Okay, so what do you think? Kuma seems really happy here. So as long as you're happy, it makes me happy. The cockroach in the beginning was disgusting, but at least they were quick about switching rooms for me. And now I don't have to worry about a cockroach being or crawling up on me while I sleep. <laughs> All right, well, let's uh, enjoy the rest of our day and uh, give an update on what it's like here later. Also, when I went back down, I asked for these cookies because I was like, hey, do you guys still have those cookies? Because they have the, them advertised all the time. And like, oh yeah, you just have to request them now. <laughs> so let's make sure you request your warm cookie. Do you like that window? I know you love, you love looking out the window, right? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. I have left Double Tree Suites in Tucson, and overall, I well, I like my stay there. Yeah, there was that uh, roach thing in the first room, but at least they switched me pretty quickly. And I asked them this morning if they could waive the uh, $50 pet fee because of that cockroach, and they took it right off. So, I mean, I think they should have just taken it off anyway since I had that problem. But, you know, one, they moved me, and in the next room I had no problems. And, um, you know, they took it off without any hassle, so. I was appreciative of that. So thank you Cockroach for uh, waving the pet fee for us. There were a lot of mixed reviews on TripAdvisor, so I wasn't sure what to expect, but I thought it was a really nice hotel. I mean, yeah, it's a little outdated, but it's been there for a while, so what do you expect? Um, they could renovate it a little bit, I guess. Maybe in the next few years they will. Very large rooms, but the courtyard was lovely. Um, people seem to be enjoying the outdoor pool. I slept really well. I didn't hear any noises. Uh, it was completely dark and the bed was very comfortable. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to watch more of our videos, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.